So welcome back to a new episode of Tequila Forever, Forever Tequila. Today I just got a package in the mail, so I'm excited to share this with you guys. So I do like the whole packaging. It's actually really nice. It's a bubble wrap. I got myself another Terralta bottle. It's a really good tequila. If you haven't already watched the video, I did a review on that one. It's a really good tequila, it's an extrañejo. That's from uh, Felipe Camarena. Nom number 1579. But today, I'm gonna be doing a review on El Tequileño Rare. Wow. Very, very special tequila. So let me go ahead and grab my cup, get all this out the way, and let's get started. All right, so I got my glass poured. Meanwhile, it breathes a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about, you know, El Tequileño Rare, what makes this tequila so special. So from what I read and watched the video on their website, it said this tequila was aged for six years and four months in a large American oak wood pipon. And by law, tequila that is aged, of course, a year or three years or more, it's gonna be either an añejo or extrañejo, but the barrel cannot exceed 600 liters. So this tequila was rested, you know, in that American oak pipon barrel that has a capacity of about 25,000 liters, and this carried about 23,000. So making this a reposado. So they claim to be the first and only rare reposado and let's see if that time that it's been resting there makes a difference and if it's really that special. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the aromas. So what I smell in this tequila, it's a, it smells sweet. You know, it smells a bit like candy. I'm getting honey. I do get oak. Maybe some cherry. I do get the agave in there. I'm trying to get a few other aromas, let's see. Maybe even like a like sweet potato. So there's a few different aromas and I'm sure uh, the more time that it breathes and of course as as I try it uh, on multiple occasions, I'll probably be able to distinguish a little bit more on the flavors, but it is complex. It's a, it's a very complex uh, reposado. Now let's see if it tastes like a reposado. It's actually a really good tequila. I like it. You do get a lot of oak, so that's definitely a plus. So I get the agave, I get oak, and I also get, um, you know, like a little bit of cherry, and I would say, even like uh, maybe like plain sun, sunflower seeds or maybe pumpkin seeds and a few other uh, a few other flavors. It's actually it's actually really nice. Maybe like a little bit of uh, cinnamon. There's definitely cinnamon in there. So I would say this tequila tastes. Uh, Tastes like uh, añejo, maybe even, maybe even an extra añejo. Tastes like, you know, I think all that time that it was sitting there, you know, it definitely made a difference. So this, we'll call this uh, an extra añejo. But like I said, because of the laws and regulations and it exceeding the 600 liters, you know, it's a reposado. Limited edition. 
So if you guys haven't tried this, I'll definitely recommend picking up a bottle. It'll easily give this bottle a tequila. I would say 89, maybe a 90. No, definitely worth it. You know, it's definitely uh, it's definitely unique. Thank you very much. You guys have a good night.